Hey guys, it's Rich, and I just thought I'd touch base with everybody. Um, we are week two into this lockdown at the moment, and um, we've just seen some incredible stuff in our CrossFit 4566 community and with our unconquered and unbroken training program, and just a, so much positivity and everyone you know, sh uh, sharing and motivating each other through, which is a really hard time. But I'm still seeing um, a lot of stuff out there where, you know, with lots of people losing jobs, um, the, the world is obviously in total turmoil at the moment. And there's going to be moments where you're going to feel like it's getting you down. I mean, I've had, I've had those moments. And I've always been a big fan of a guy called Jocko Willink. He's uh, an ex-Special uh, Forces Navy SEAL. Uh, written some incredible books um, and I was actually gifted one of those books by a friend of mine Helen Price she's one of the uh, beautiful humans that trains at our gym and um, it's an amazing gift because in, in this book um, Jocko who is just an elite leader um, he's got an amazing podcast you should check that out as well it's called the Jocko podcast um, sharing some of his learnings um, overcoming adversity um, and all sorts of and messages that he learned in both the good times and the bad times um, at the very tip of the spear uh, within the Navy SEAL community and, and how, to, how to take on some of those values and those cultures uh, as a civilian in, in our everyday life. Lots of learnings to be had. This book is called uh, Discipline Equals Freedom, uh, a field manual, and it's got so many messages in there that can help you through times like this. Just give you that little bit of motivation that you might need when you're feeling down in the dumps about something. And I opened the book uh, the other day because I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, I mean, our uh, ours and many other businesses closed last week, Monday here in Australia. And um, we were all supporting each other, but it, it was tough. It's tough, tough times, you know? So um, when I opened it, I found <laughs> this, this one section that, it's called Overwhelmed. Jocko Willink is uh, describing how to get through this feeling of being overwhelmed. And I want to read it to you because the words here just resonated with me. It was almost like I'd been punched in the face by, by big, big old Jocko, who's a big ball himself and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a very um, commanding leader. And those words just spoke to me like with great leadership and great depth. I want to read this to you and I want, I want you to listen to these words and I want you to apply them to yourself. Um, go and grab the book if you need to and, you know, pig's ear this, uh, this page and read it over and over again. Overwhelmed. Yes, life can be overwhelming. That's the way life works. It is testing you. It is going to throw problems at you and it is going to throw them at you all at the same time. This is the way life works. It's Murphy's Law. It is easy to feel beaten when you are faced with all those problems at once. But let me tell you, that does not mean give up fighting. In fact, it means the opposite. It is time for you to fight and fight harder. To dig in. To go on the war path with yourself. To assess the problems. What? To, sorry, to assess what the problems are and decide which one you are gonna attack first. Then get started and attack. And listen, it won't be easy. In fact, it's gonna be hard. Life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. Do not let them, he writes in capital letters. Stand up, dig in, line up those problems and confront them, face them, fight them, do not let them bring you down. Instead, let these challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person for tomorrow. So in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you, you made me better. Man, I just, I just got goosebumps. And that is exactly how I faced the day after I felt so overwhelmed about all this stuff. And then the day after that. 
and I've just kept this next to my bed. And every day when I've got up, I've thought of this dude and all the other amazing people that are out there in our community and out there in the world who've got great messages to share that have been through some shit in their lives. And it's about digging in and fighting, you know, fighting for um, those moments, you know, fighting with yourself to be positive. If you're not feeling disciplined to go to training, fight with yourself to get you to that workout get you to that to-do list. And if you've got five things, tick them off, fight with yourself to get it done. I just wanted to share that with you in these tough times. Stay positive, stay motivated, um, keep sharing all the stuff that you're sharing, have each other's backs just the way that you're doing and go out there and look for some of this literature that's out there. Reach out to the amazing people within your own community as well. We have many of them. I love you lots, have a good day. And uh, let's get after it.